Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video we will discuss what if analysis in Microsoft Excel and its usage in project management. My name is Abdul Qadir Hotak. I have masters in structural engineering. Besides that, I'm a certified project management professional. To start with what if analysis in Microsoft Excel, let's have a bit of its background in project management. Projects are inherently risky by nature and come with a lot of uncertainties. Frequent unexpected changes make projects vulnerable. In order to predict the outcome or impact of a risk or any other aspect of a project, we use the tool called What If Scenario Analysis. Microsoft Excel enables us to use this tool with following some basic steps. In the Excel that you are seeing on your screens, I have a list of projects. Fence wall project, HQ Office Data Center project, and the other names that you can read. In total, there are four projects under this program. For each project, we have estimated the material costs, machinery costs, human resources costs, and risks costs. On the right end, the total cost for each project is given. Moreover, the grand total is given for all categories of costs, and the grand total for the total cost is given as well. According to the PMBOK guide, what if scenario analysis is the process of evaluating scenarios in order to predict their effect, both positive and negative, on project objectives. This is an analysis of the question, what if the situation represented by scenario X happens? In what if scenario analysis, what you do is, you assume that a scenario happens, what would be the result? Let's assume a scenario, for example, the total cost of this risk might increase to $7,000. What would be its impacts on the project? Let's do it in Microsoft Excel. In order to get to what-if analysis, click on data, come to what-if analysis. In our today's video, we will cover Scenario Manager and Goal Seek. Let's first go to Scenario Manager. Click on Scenario Manager, a wizard like this opens for you. From here, you add the scenario. Let's click on Add. Okay, let's assume here we have a worst case scenario for our risks. And in the meantime, we have a best case scenario. And one scenario is the current state. For example, let's call it the current state. Changing cells. Let's select the changing cells. Click here, select the cells that you want to change. Next, under the comment here, you can give any comments, for example, something that you should remember when applying that scenario or something that you might forget, so you write it down in the comment section. Click OK. This is the current set. We will, we will OK. This is the current set. Now let's add another set. The worst case scenario. Let's add the worst case scenario. The same cells are selected. OK. We will go OK. OK. In the worst case scenario, the risk cost for project number one, which is the fence wall project, will be, for example, $7,000 US dollars. For project number two, the risk mitigation cost, or the cost that we have estimated for the risk response, or for example, $1,500. $1,500. Same for this risk, this will be like, for example, 9,000. And for this risk, it will be, let's give a bigger number than 2,000, like 7,000. Click OK. This is the worst case. Next, let's go to the best case scenario. Name this scenario as best case. The same cells are selected, so we don't have to reselect them. And OK. In the best case, no risk will happen to our project. There will be no uncertainty in our project, and we have to mitigate nothing, and we have to put aside no money uh, in response to some uncertainty that we expect that will happen in the future. So let's set them all to zero. 
zero, and this one zero as well, and zero. Okay, this is the best case. So now let's bring the scenario manager to down here. So on whichever scenario now you double click, it will be shown in here and on your bar chart. For example, let's click on worst case. You can click from here show or you can double click for example on best case. In the worst case, for example, the total cost for the projects will be $123,700. These are the bar charts. For the best case, it will be $99,200. And for the current state, it will be 107,050 US dollars. So what we basically did here was that we set a scenario that if it happens, what would be its results and its impacts on the project? For example, if the worst case happens, our project will cost almost 20,000 more dollars. What if the best case happens, our project will cost us $99,200, almost 8,000 less than what we have estimated. And for example, the worst case is $123,000. Let's close it. As you can see now, the worst case has remained here, but we want to see our current uh, state. So go to what if ana analysis, click on scenario manager, click double click on current state and or maybe show then close it, your current state will appear. So this was the, the scenario manager. What's goal seek? And the goal seek, you set a goal for your project, then you set a variable that should change in order to meet that goal. For example, I want to set the total cost of the project to $100,000. I have selected the cell here to value. The value will be 100,000. By changing which cell? Okay, which cell do you want to change? I say that change the material cost for this project for me and then click OK. It will calculate it for you. If you want the total cost for your projects to be $100,000 and you want to modify the material cost for this project, then this cost should be reduced to $19,950. Let's do it once more on another variable. Go to WhatIf Analysis, Goal Seek. I will select the same cell and to value, for example, 95,000 and change the material cost for this project for me. Click OK. It will calculate it for you. The material cost for the fence wall project should be reduced to $2,950. So if you want this scenario to happen, this should be updated to this value. I hope you liked the video. If you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more useful content like this and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.